You have to be athletic, first of all. I mean, there's a lot of endurance. You don't necessarily have to be a hard hitter. You don't have to be a blocker. Um, you don't have to be fast. You don't have to be a jammer. Um, but you do have to have some sort of athletic ability. You have to have the balance and everything. You don't have to be mean by any means, um, but it is good to, to be um, strong and to be able to, you know, if you're a blocker, to hit somebody else. and. Um, if you are a jammer, to, be, to have that speed and the ability to get through um, a pack helps a lot. But uh, just being able to skate really first off is all we kind of require. So everything else can kind of come with it. One team has a pivot, two blockers, and you have a back blocker or a bumper. Um, essentially, you have four blockers total. They just have kind of different names. Then you have your jammer. Uh, the pivot in the front is in charge of kind of keeping the pace of the pack. They're wearing a striped helmet cap and they're the last person to um, get in front of the jammer and block them or get them out of the ring and knock them down, that kind of thing. Uh, then you have your two blockers in the middle and they're just straight blockers. And then the bumper in the back is usually a stronger girl. And they're kind of the first person, obviously, the jammer runs up upon. And, um, the and they can certainly move throughout the pack as well. You don't, you're not necessarily have to stay in the back. You don't, they don't have to stay in formation by any means. And then the jammer, the pack starts first, and then the jammer starts, and the jammer has to pretty much get through the pack. And uh, if they get through without fouling anyone else illegally or passing someone out of bounds, they can then get lead jam, which all that means is they can call it off at any time they want. So. Rather than going a full two minutes, they can call it off, say, if they think they've gotten more points than the other jammer. It's more of a strategic advantage if you have lead jammer. And then the next time around, you get a point for every opposing player you pass legally. What prompted you to start the Omaha Roller Girls? There had been kind of a national resurgence of um, flat track roller derby and um, I used to live in Lincoln, Nebraska and um, some really cool girls in Lincoln um, started a league, I think it was September of 2005 and I saw flyers up and I was like this is so awesome, I was like a bunch of like really cool girls getting together and you know getting in shape skating um, being independent being a part of a team at the same time and so I started skating with them and um, I ended up relocating to Omaha and after three months of not uh, skating I was like why can't we do this in Omaha as well so with a lot of help from the Lincoln No Coast Derby girls um, got just a lot of information together, threw up some flyers, had an informational meeting, and just from that, you know, built a really, really great crew of girls, and, and, and from that, we've created what is now the Omaha Roller Girls. I seen it on TBS. I seen the, the Roller Girls, the documentary that they were doing, and I dug it, like, super love the sport. And I like physical, I like rock concerts, I like running into people, so I like that part of it. I seen Cha Cha Mow You Down. I seen the Big Brain logo on her back, and I, I go to Big Brain for my tattoos, so I asked her what was up. And she told me we started a roller derby team. I was serving, and I about threw my 
tray on the ground. Like I was so excited that we had one and I was here the next day and I never left, so definitely. Five years, I'm hoping. Planning wise, I want to be skating at Civic or Mid-America and packing it. I want everyone in town to know that there are Omaha roller girls in town. And I mean, I don't know why we couldn't be on par with any of the hockey teams, basketball, anything in town. I, don't even, I get that question all the time and I just remember that me and uh, my best friend Aaron Duzer were at uh, Liquid Courage and we saw a flyer up for Lincoln Roller Derby and we're like, that is so cool, we should totally join it. And we're like, that's a long distance and I know eventually we found out that, I can't recall where we found out, but we found out there was one here and we're like, let's do it. And I, was, I told her, I was like, wait till I'm done with school and I had like two months left, it was March and she's like, no, she went and I was like, you already went? I was like, okay, I'll do it too. So we, we started a little early and earlier than I would have expected. It, it worked out fine. So I, I can't recall exactly where, but I was like, that sounds cool, let's do it. anything but just like questions and you know people wanting to know more about it and wow how did you get into this is it here in Omaha where do we go to find out about it